Hello everybody. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of adventuring. Uh, we're going to hit a couple of local spots right here in Key West. Uh, the areas are called the salt ponds. They're actually some saltwater marshes alongside some mangrove tunnels that are run right by the uh, Key West Airport. And there's actually two different spots. One is the uh, more of a tourist one where if you take any tour, kayak tour, most likely they'll take you to this one spot. And then the second area is actually more of an off the wall beaten path where there's kind of like a nice secluded park area that not a lot of people know about. So I'll go ahead and put the map and the directions and stuff just after this. And otherwise, let's go do some paddling. Here's the entrance way to the salt ponds. So it's a gated area here. Kind of off the beaten path since the main road is right there, Flagler. But so you can find that's interesting. Got a few crocodiles in the area. Maybe we'll spot one, doubt it, but never know. So let's get going. Okay, so here we are at the first stop. Nice little bum spot. And as you can hear, we're going to be having some uh, airplanes going over, but this is the salt ponds. Okay, off we go. Now for the fishing folk, I've heard stories that there are redfish here. There's a mohara. But uh, that would be a unique situation to find some actual redfish in Key West since they don't really, are not very prolific down this far. But supposedly there's like a native uh, group of them around here. So we'll keep an eye out for some fins. Might be a good breeding spot for tarpon as well. So maybe a future fishing opportunity. That right there is uh, Key West High School. And then to the left of it is the Key West Roller Rink. We actually have a roller rink and hockey teams and everything down here. And then this is one of the condos, apartment complexes there. And the ocean is just basically right on the other side there, the Atlantic side. Good spot if you're into birding. Nice quiet area there. So, good place to take photos too, I guess. Now that makes it a little bit more interesting for me. Got blue crabs, so potential bait spot plus a food spot. That one's a nice eater size, so never know. I see another one over there. Another good eater. There's a little bit of a blockade uh, with some thin water. You may or may not be able to paddle across, but uh, no problems. Looks like this dude didn't make it. It's not that old. Stinky though. Live baby, you gotta wanna live. Or not. And we've got the opening over here to the bigger salt ponds. Nice cuda there. Not the most peaceful with all the jets coming in, but not too bad. And we are this close to the ocean. No spiders. And 
there we are. I guess this is a potential launch spot as well. And that's Key West International Airport there, the main terminal. That pretty much ends our distance that we can go since it ends right about there. But that is it, and there's the ocean and US-1 there. There's the Ocean Walk apartment complex there as the road wraps around. And then the landing strip just runs right along there. So that is part one of the salt ponds in Key West. So let's head back and go to location number two. Cruise alongside this uh, inner shoreline looking for the crocodiles. I think my better opportunity would bring to uh, bring out my neighbor's cat or one of my patio chickens, entice them out a little bit. And we're back. And we've got our guard dog watching our car. And we're back. This other one is on Riviera Street and Riviera Drive. It's kind of a hidden in little spot. And that's where we're going to launch to, right into the canal there. This is the canal we come down when I go uh, fishing with my buddy Fred. He's got his boat just a couple doors down there. And we're going to head just a little bit down there. So this is the launch though. Side we're launched like this where you can't step down. Just put your uh, paddle perpendicular and that'll give you a little bit more stability. I like to hold on the edge and the paddle. Put my weight over the center of it and then just sit down. There you go. Now if you go to where it dead ends there, there's actually a public boat, ra boat ramp with parking and everything. So uh, I'll put that on the map as well. That's a launchable spot as well, probably even easier than this one, but just saves a little distance because we're going to be going that way. Here is the main boat launch, public boat launch that you can also utilize on the same canal. It just happens to be about another quarter of a mile down the channel. So it's a little bit easier to start up front there. So it dead ends basically down here and the other launch is way up there and then the mangroves are a lot farther down. Those are the missile silos. We were actually just diagonal, just over on the other side of those radar towers is that last uh, section that we were at. We hit the mangroves, we want to go about uh, 100, 150 feet before the bridge that goes across. And I'll be on this side and just look for a hole in the mangroves. That's the tunnels that we're going to take. Here's one of the tunnels here. Why don't we take that one and see where it leads. The main one is just a bit farther down, but we might come out on that one. Ah, much nicer during the middle of the summer days. Water's low, so it's nice. You're not worrying about getting smacked in the head.
made it. the salt flats this is the tunnel section the more touristic one as you can see it's kind of cool going through all those little mangrove tunnels uh, get a little bit loud with the airplanes occasionally but not too bad but otherwise fairly interesting paddle a good way to spend the day hitting the two different spots uh, the other spot was just way over there is where we were at before all right let's see if we can find another path back through a different tunnel <laughs> might be one we need to go that way though but we shall see where we come out and I think we've made it survive the salt ponds we just come out into more salt ponds. <laughs> this is not the canal. What the hell? I think I know where we're at though with those trees there. See people with no navigational skills put up little flags and stuff. No sense of adventure. And this is the right one. Bam! Ah! Yes. And the bridge. It is right down there. So, we made it. Time to head back. And that's where we went in. And if you ever come by and see this boat, go ahead and pee on it. <laughs> Hey Fred. Well, that's the Key West Salt Ponds. A uh, great place to go out on a windy, rainy day, or even if it's a hot summer day like this where there's not a lot of wind, uh, you could hide out in those mangrove uh, tunnels. But uh, otherwise, just a good way to spend a relaxing evening paddling, non stressful, not a big workout. But, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.